So, uh, yeah, that's how my Infinite Warfare experience has gone so far. I don't even know what the fuck that eraser thing is, but, uh, I simply cannot be fucking bothered to stay in that lobby. So I immediately raged and then decided, you know what, this would be a perfect time to start recording a video. Honestly, I love my logic. Yeah, let's go ahead and start recording a video when I'm just already fucking triggered at this game. So now some of you might be asking me, uh, why the fuck am I even playing this game? Because almost every one of you guys should know that I hate this game by now. I think I made, what, like three or four videos? Whoops. Ah, uh, the lady friend is texting me. I will text her back in one second. But uh, as I was saying, yeah, as you guys know, I think I made like three or four videos on the beta and I pretty much gave up on this game already. And just considering the fact I'm going to be selling my PS4 here within the next couple of days, uh, you know, just like kind of putting it out there to my friends on Facebook saying, hey guys, if anybody wants a PS4, here you go. So really just considering that, I figured I would go ahead and make maybe one, maybe two Infinite Warfare videos before I sell my PS4 because there's no fucking way I'm making those videos on PC. Just nah, that, that shit's not fucking happening. I can tell you guys that right now. See, for one of itself, I have to run Call of Duty 4 Remake mastered on low settings and i don't even want to know what the fuck it would be like to try and run infinite warfare that and on top of the fact i don't even know if i could simply be fucking bothered to take the time out of my life to download that game onto my fucking computer so also now as far as me selling my ps4 goes uh i did see a comment um i think it was in one of my recent videos like maybe a video or two ago where someone was like hey mike sell me your ps4 i'll take it and the thing of it is is that uh, i don't know if i could sell it to one of you guys like uh being my viewers and subscribers it's not that i have anything against it it's just like i would like to know where you guys live for the the most part because I don't know how I really feel about um I'm not really sure how I feel about like sending packages across the United States because uh shit can happen to the packages like shit can get damaged especially if it comes to like having to ship it internationally say if I were to like send it to a fan or a subscriber in Germany or something like that that or if I were to send it to one of you guys over in the UK because I know that as far as like demographics go I have like a good amount of viewers coming from the UK the fact of the matter is I can't really fuck with the international shipping because one the fees on that bitch is fucking ridiculous Oh, that's really awkward. I thought I could run outside the map. Never mind. But, so uh, yeah, just the international fees and considering that once again the shit could get damaged, it's just I really don't want to run that risk. Especially if I'm sending you guys something. I want it to, like, you know, be in good, like, shape. I don't stand a chance. I really fucking don't. Perhaps I'm just, uh, getting too old for this shit. I'm 20 years old and I'm saying that. Obviously, it's a fucking joke, but at the same time, it's just, I can't keep up with this fucking flying around bullshit. I like the whole boots on the ground thing, as you guys know. I'm much more of a classic Call of Duty type player, and that's obviously one of the reasons why I've, uh, decided just to stick to Modern Warfare Remastered, because I simply cannot be fucking bothered to deal with another year of flying through the fucking air. I just can't do it. I'm sorry. I mean, honestly, for the most part, I guess Infinite Warfare seems like a cool game for those of you who actually enjoy the game, but just me, I, I simply can't deal with it. See, also, I will say this as far as Infinite Warfare goes here on the PS4 and just, like, on the disc, like, how you can still change your language. See, if I'm remembering this correctly, I'm pretty sure I talked about, uh, in one of the beta videos that, uh, I don't understand why they didn't do this kind of thing sooner, just, like, put all of the languages onto one disc. So, for one, the weird people like me can just change a language whenever they want because they like listening to the other voiceovers of the languages. See, just in my opinion, it's cool just to change the languages just to, uh, listen to the voice acting. Alright, well, this is my first time playing this map, whatever the fuck it's called, and we got the floating fucking battleship in the sky. Does it say where we are? Well, I mean, we're on the map retaliation, but I don't know, like, where we are in the world. Wait a second, that is a... <sighs> Bro, I'm trying to look at the flag. Come on now. All right, well, from what I saw from the flag, red flag, white cross, I'm assuming that we are in Switzerland. And then because this game or something was based in Geneva, uh, that's what I'm guessing. The fuck does this sign say? Weichenheimer, ja, a pure German accent, ja. Wiener Schnitzel and Schaukraut, ja. Phase. Oh, damn it. I can't keep up. Why is my shit so- Oh yeah, my sensitivity is slow as fuck. You know, I kind of thought that because apparently there's now no aim assist in this game, kind of similar to Black Ops 3, that uh, I may as well just run on low sensitivity and it doesn't fucking matter because if you miss your first shot, especially using the longbow, yeah, you just- you're fucking done. Wait, did I just see the intervention? Yes, I did. Oh look, the intervention. Let's fucking- yeah, let's go! TF-141. This thing is, uh, well, actually, if I gave a shit about Infinite Warfare, this would make it all worth it. But in the end of it all, no, this game is, well, okay, that, I can't run on that. But, uh, yeah, in the end of it all, this game, eh, just, no, absolutely fucking not. I would rather play classic MW2, run around the classic intervention, and, okay, this fucking connection, bro. I just don't understand what it is with, like, the Wi-Fi thing on my PS4. Like, maybe mine just in particular is shit, or it might be the fact that I'm, like, two floors above my router. But yet, even so, my Xbox 360 runs off of wireless when I was getting Xbox live at the time or while I was playing Xbox Live and I was almost always on an open NAT type. Another one of those contributing factors as to the reason why this was like a $500 fucking waste. And that guy was charging up a fucking Spartan laser. What was that? Happy 
Bro. The fucking eraser. Like, just... Pff, 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 I'm fucking gone. I literally disintegrate! <sighs> I'm too fucking slow for this. Uh, he saw me. I didn't even fucking see him. I guess I'm just blind. Well, there's Infinite Warfare. I, I simply can't be bothered to play this game. After playing it for 20 minutes, I'm already fucking bored out of my mind. Level fucking four. Yep, that's uh, that's just what my rank is going to stay at because I, I don't enjoy this game. I really don't. I'm sorry for those of you guys that do, but just, I, I don't. Still, to be fair, I thought it would be a, a slightly decent idea to at least, like, kind of, uh, I don't know, like, make another video that's not Modern Warfare Remastered. But on this game, it's just I figured I'd make my one and only and last I guess I can say final infinite warfare video But uh, yeah, this game just no, it's not for me And honestly, I'm not even going to argue with that fact right now It might be a fact or opinion just like depending but still it's just I know that this game is not for me And I'm just not going to bother with it. So yeah